and gentlemen, it is time to talk about them SmackDown ratings. That's right, people. If they want to pretend that SmackDown is a real show there, if they want to pretend that SmackDown actually matters there, then let's play along, dog, and let's start talking about them SmackDown ratings on this channel. Um, so SmackDown this week got a 1.69 rating. <laughs> We talking about WWE or TNA ratings, dog? <laughs> I'm confused here. 1.6 rating. That's that's pretty goddamn cheap for a WWE show there. Um, according to them, SmackDown was going to become great, you know. They were going to compete with Raw. The ratings of SmackDown were going to beat Raw according to... You know, Brian and whoever the fuck, whatever the fuck they were saying on TV there. All of that is just a big fat joke, ladies and gentlemen. A 1.6 rating. You want to know why SmackDown got a 1.6 rating? Because it's a big blue pile of crap is what it is. Just a big blue pile of shit. Okay, it's... It's a show with no effort. <laughs> you know? They put AJ Styles there. Big mistake. They put Cena on there. Big mistake. That's only gonna hurt Raw. Okay? And, and for years, years and years and years, SmackDown has been so goddamn terrible. So fucking cheap. It's just a complete afterthought. And then, oh, let's just throw Cena on there. And everything's going to be all right. We're going to pretend that SmackDown actually matters now. Just a big blue pile of crap is what it is. We got blue ropes. We got blue, a blue ring or whatever. The Titan Tron is blue. Everything is fucking blue. Who gives a fuck? For God's sake, okay? And what do they do there to try to, to bring back SmackDown, to revive it, to make it great again or whatever? They put Dolph Ziggler as the number one contender. Really, folks, you know? Like I said, you got John Cena on SmackDown. Biggest merch seller in all of wrestling. You got AJ Styles, one of the hottest, not sexual there, but one of the hottest wrestlers on the planet today. It is what it is, okay? He, he shows up on WWE and he instantly becomes one of the best, just like this AJ Styles, because there's no competition anymore in WWE. Like 90% of the roster just fucking sucks. They're just there. They're not good. You know what I mean? AJ Styles shows up. Boom, he's one of the top guys just like this. Why not put fucking AJ Styles in the big program for SmackDown? You know, if people are interested in Styles, why not give give the fans something interesting and it's SummerSlam. You know, they want to kick off the new era, the new fucking SmackDown. They want to set up a main event for SummerSlam. That's important. You got to do something big for that there to fucking completely revamp a show, to fucking make SummerSlam look decent. You got to give something good. They give us Dolph Ziggler. What a fucking joke. What a goddamn joke. Dolph Ziggler, he's on television. I haven't done anything in two years. It wasn't it wasn't easy being a male cheerleader. Yeah, that's that's gonna make him look tough right there. That's gonna make him look cool. I started at a cheerleader. It wasn't easy for me, you know. You know, that's 
that's a guy that we're supposed to fucking respect as a potential WWE champ. You fucking kidding me? And what are they doing with Ziggler there? Ziggler, big tag team match on SmackDown. A 1.6 rating. You put the WWE title, the most prestigious belt in wrestling, on the fucking shit show like that. You put Cena, the top fucking money guy in wrestling. You put him there. You grab AJ Styles, one of the best wrestlers on the planet. Stick him on SmackDown and it doesn't do jack fucking shit. Okay, it's a shit rating. That is what you get. You dumb motherfuckers. What were they thinking? In 2016, doing a brand split. A goddamn brand split when there's hardly anybody on the roster. And all the people on their fucking rosters are jobbers like Darren Young. That nobody cares about. And then you got a bunch of new guys. Apollo Crews. He was on Raw for a few months, did absolutely jack shit. Let's put this guy on SmackDown. We'll pretend we he's important. We'll give him the Intercontinental fucking title match or whatever. You know, just a big fat pile of blue shit is what it is, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, 1.6. Couple of years Raw is going to get 1.6. SmackDown is going to go down to the 1.2s. Maybe a 0 0.9 for God's sake. You know, I feel I feel sad there. I thought this was going to be good. I thought this new era was going to be good. It's an embarrassment. It's a goddamn embarrassment is what it is. Here you go, Ziggler. Here you go, Ziggler fans. Oh, Dolph Ziggler, good. Dolph Ziggler, cute. Here you go, bitches. 1.6, your, your cheap fucking garbage Ziggler there. It's live. They advertise that shit all the time. It plays on USA. If your Ziggler was so fucking good, he would be getting ratings. Truth is, nobody gives a flying fuck about Ziggler. Apart from a tiny nerd virgin mongoloid portion of the audience. That's the people who care about Ziggler. People with no fucking brains. Nerds. People who want to jack off to the wrestlers. Oh, he's got, he's got a cute bum. Oh, I like his hair. Dolph Ziggler's so cute. Fuck you. Oh, I'm on Team Smackdown. I'm gonna jump on the bandwagon. Before the brand split even happens, I'm on Team SmackDown, guy. Yeah, this is so much fun. Fuck you, 1.6 rating. Just a big fat fucking blue pile of fucking shit is what it is. Until next time, peace.